Hello everyone and welcome to episode 5 of my history series. Today is all about him. Now, um, this album it was 50-50 for me. Um, the thing is, there's things that I really enjoyed about the album and there are things that I, I'm on the fence about let me say that that way um so first let me talk about the positives number one the rap line this is definitely their album their era they dominate they shine in every single song and you know it's like they were coming for people's necks with this project they really really are the highlight of this album for me Another thing that I also love is the energy. It's like from the moment the first song plays till the last one, you are going to fall into this project. It's like this this is the only thing that exists. And for six songs, all you know is that music. And I love songs like this. You know, when the song is high energy, then you feel hype. If they go into something a bit more softer, your energy also goes down with them. And I just love um albums like this. I also love the fact that the album is very diverse in terms of sound. So you get a little bit of everything. So it's definitely going to please a wider audience because there is a mood and a song for everyone on to the not so great side there are definitely some songs that i will qualify as growers growers for me are one or two things either songs that are good but forgettable or songs that i just do not vibe with and in this project, I found both of those in here. So let me preface everything that I'm about to say by music taste is subjective. Just because I do not like a song, it doesn't make it the universal truth. And, you know, sometimes things that I love, other people do not vibe with as well. It's okay. You are never going to love 100% of what somebody puts out, you know, and... In reality, it happens all the time. You know, there's some for everyone. And as long as you keep things respectful, we can all give our honest opinion and keep it pushing. Now, um, like I said, I found songs on here that are good but forgettable. That would be um, Wild Boy, for example. That song is a good song. But after you're done listening to it, I forgot about it. And the thing is, that's the very first song on the album. And by the time I reached the last one, I couldn't even remember listening to it. I had to go back and listen to it again to like kind of gauge where I was standing. And I listened to this album for about 10 or so times now. And I still feel that way. And on the other side... There's song, a song on here that I just do not vibe with. It's just not my cup of tea. That would be Baby Hello and Whenever. Those two songs, it's just not working out. And, you know, I like to leave an album time to grow on me for situations like this. Because I do not want to rush and make a judgment. I'd rather listen to the album over and over again spread out in time and then see if I still feel the same way. So when I listened to the album for the first time, I did not enjoy the songs, but I felt like, okay, maybe I take, I need to take a step back and come back to it later and see how I feel about it. It was still the same. Then I decided to, you know what, this week, all I'm going to listen to is this specific album to see if how I felt about the song would change, but it's still the same. And, you know, right now I just feel like it happens. Unfortunately, I ended up not connecting with those two songs. It does not affect how I feel about history overall. There's still pretty much talented. And it's not because I do not like a couple of songs out there 
that it's going to take anything away from their talent. They're still amazing. It's just those two songs ended up not working for me. Now, when we talk about favorites, I have two of them in this project. Number two is Liar. Yeah, I'm sorry. second favorite i really love this song i love how emotional it is and i was really impressed by the rap line because one thing i love is in a rapper that is able to deliver on a softer song i think that's what separates the good from the great for me as far as rappers are concerned because i feel like if you give them beats and melodies that i used to work on it's not really that challenging, but having a rapper come on a softer song for me really just either make them shine even more or just expose the flaws in their rapping. And what I love about this is the rap line is able to stand out deliver emotion and you know elevate the song in a way and it really match well with the vocals and how pretty they 
are and how vulnerable it is. And I just love the feels. I love the rap line. I love the vocals. The start of the album is Lost. <laughs> song i love how intense it is i love the production it's so insane um you know there is a softness to the song but all those um how am i going to call those um oh the word is escaping me you know all the little sounds there make the make everything just hit so hard and the song is so intense and the vocals are so pretty and then you get the melody oh my god like the production is so well done because every single detail just emphasize the emotions at the moment and it's just perfect let me know in the comments how you felt about this song which songs are your are uh, your favorites overall how many do we have in common and if you want more check out their dedicated playlist on the channel